guys, so we're gonna talk about crested geckos and why they drop their tails. So crested geckos have something called a prehensile tail. So monkeys have prehensile tails and it's pretty much so that they can grab onto things and use their tails as like a fifth limb. But because of that prehensile tail, they don't really have that ability to grow back their tails. So that is why they are left with these little stubby bums. So two reasons why your crested gecko could drop their tail. The first thing is, is typically when crested geckos are being bred, they will be put in with a bunch of other crested geckos and they will end up bullying each other. And then in despite of fear and stress, they will end up just dropping their tail. And that is the case of Lilo here. And that is what happened with him. So the second thing is, is stress or fear or predator response typically in the wild. So they will actually release their tails so that the predators will hopefully go after the tail because their tail will actually stay moving. And then the predator will grab the tail, Crested Gecko gets to run off and get another chance at life. So those are the two reasons why they could potentially release their tail. Um, it's not life-threatening. It doesn't hurt them. It doesn't bleed. If it does happen to you and your crested gecko, I would suggest keeping an eye on it just so it doesn't get infected. But typically this is a natural thing for them. So it probably will not have much complications. So I hope you learned something really, really cool about crested geckos and their tails. And I hope you have a great day and leave a comment down below if your crested gecko doesn't have a tail.